You are not invited to these videos anymore. If I got a 70% on an exam, I would be happy. Hey guys, it's Chris, and today I'm here with another taste test video, which you guys seem to like. Today, Momo and I are going to be trying these Gardein beefless strips with sizzling Szechuan sauce. Um, and these are new. I haven't seen these before in the stores and we actually found this at Walmart. It's been really impressive to see how the vegan section at Walmart has really expanded. So I've already made some rice and we're just gonna have this with some veggies and see how it is. Okay, so just some facts about this. Per serving, there's 180 calories and 11 grams of protein, zero cholesterol, and zero trans fat. So it says to bake these uh, frozen strips on a non-stick baking sheet on the middle rack for 16 to 18 minutes until golden, turning once through. And it also comes with a sauce, which is really nice. What I like about the Gardein stuff is that it's really convenient um, to make and easy to make, and it comes with a sauce, so you have like a really simple meal. Or you can save the sauce for something else and just cook the meatless meat um, and make it with your own sauce. Like I could definitely use these for like tacos or some kind of pasta dish or whatever you want. It's really versatile. So I'm just gonna throw this on a pan. This is what it looks like. It looks a lot like the crispy chicken. Um, and this is how much we got. It's not a lot. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna throw them in the oven. It's already preheated to 425 degrees and I'm gonna flip it after about eight minutes or so. And while that's baking, I'm just going to defrost the sauce by putting it in a bowl with some warm tap water. So like on the package here, um, Szechuan beef usually comes with like some kind of veggie. So here they have broccoli and peppers and I don't have any broccoli. So I just sliced up some zucchini and I have some sliced uh, pepper here. Um, and I'm probably going to cook that up in a wok just with some water and the sauce maybe after I flip them. So I'll get back to you when it's time to do that. The veggies are nice and soft, they've been cooking down for about 10 minutes now, and the timer for the meatless meat just went off, so I'm going to take them out and throw them in the wok with the sauce. Here they are, just there. Alright, and here's the sauce, nice and soft. Pour it right in and reduce the heat so it doesn't burn. So I'm just going to mix this all through until the meat is nice and coated and until the sauce is nice and warm and then serve it with some rice and should be good to go. Hey guys, now I have my little taste test partner, Momo. So here's one for you. How does it look? It looks really good. Because I made it pretty. Okay, Okay, well the beef thing oh. itself like looks good. Yeah, it looks good. The only thing I don't like is that it absorbed all the sauce, which means that it's going to be nice and flavorful, but now my rice isn't going to be saucy. Did it absorb it? Yeah. It seems very like thick, though. It doesn't seem juicy at all, which I mean, I guess that's, that's good, but... As long as it held all the flavor. Okay. Ting. Ting. I'm gonna try a piece. Just the beef. Yeah. Holy shit. So realistic. It's actually really good. Did it come, so what sauce did it come with? It was like an Asian, it says spicy Szechuan sauce. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> it's good. Basically like Chinese sauce. You're a Chinese sauce. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. And it like, it's kind of fibery. But fibery? It's not, yeah, it has like the fibers like in real meat, but it's not too realistic where it's like kind of gross. Oh! Because you know how they're- I thought you meant like, you checked the nutritional value and it was oh, high like in fiber. Oh, like muscle fiber. -y. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I got that. So you know how the beefless tips one, right? The ones that are like little circles? That doesn't have any muscle fibery texture. It's just kind of like- a Which firm ones? text of like a tofu. You know the other beef ones that they have that they're like little circles? Or they're like weird little 
overly. Oh, the te- yeah, yeah. Yeah, those don't have like a meat like texture, other than um, like kind of. They're a little stringy, like stretchy kind. Of, you know what I mean when you bite into it? Yeah, but these taste way better than those ones. Though. I don't really care though when it comes to I don't know like depends on what you're looking for with a meatless meat, right? For me, I don't like it when it's actually like that realistic. Yeah, you think that the fish ones are like. I gross? can't eat. Well, that's just because I've like never liked fish, <laughs> even before I stopped eating it. The sauce is really nice in this. It is. I really like it, and I, I do like the texture a lot. Do you think this would fool a non-vegetarian or non-vegan? I can't say. I, I'm like the worst when it comes to judging that kind of stuff. Because they're like, they're a lot I'm not of, interested in fooling people. There are a lot of vegans out there who are like, oh, like this could like fool. No, I know. It's like right? a good. It's, some people use it as a metric to test whether or not vegan food is good. But it's like, man, just do your own thing. <laughs> vegan food be vegan food. I don't think this would fool anyone. I think it would be very impressive for them. But it wouldn't fool them. Because I had cousins that ate the crispy chicken one from Gardein. And they're like, well, this is like real meat. But like, obviously it has like a soyish kind of t- taste. It doesn't like this? taste like meat. This one's like really convincing. But like some of their other ones has like a soy taste. I don't think I remember what meat tastes like. I think this is really good. Um, That's what matters. If it's good, yeah. It tastes good. Tastes good. It looks good. Well, there's not really much more that needs to be said about this. Other than it's good. <laughs> Which isn't really shocking because we like everything from Guardian. Right, what's our metric on rating? We do up to five. Last time we rated those Pizza Pockets a four, I think. Four point five, maybe. Did I give them a four point five? Yeah. Because I like those more. Yeah, they taste, but, yeah. But like... It's hard to compare. They're Pizza Pockets. How yeah. do you beat that? Um... 3.75? Okay. I don't like doing it out of five. You want to do that at 10? I think so, because think about it. On a 5 scale, 2.5 is hot. Is 2.5 average? Like an average taste? 2.75. Tasting is average. No, slightly above 3.75. Yeah, average. Yeah, average. Okay, let's go slightly above average. Okay, we can do that at 10 then. What's that out of 10? It's a solid 7. Okay. That's like a really good place for something to be. 8 is like extraordinary. Like, no. Let's see. I give it an 8. Because I think it's good. Yeah, but 7 is good. But I think oh. it's great. 9 is fantastic, and 10 is good. God, whenever you buried, drop these beef tips in my mouth. I give it an 8, 9 because I think they're great. Anyway, yeah, I would definitely try to get these, get a hold of these if you can. Gardein, where are they normally sold? Fortino, Sobeys. We got these at Walmart. Like, what the heck? Walmart? They have Gardein stuff at like almost all grocery stores. You might not be able to find these there because they're new. But I would just keep checking the frozen, like, vegan section. And, um, yeah, definitely try this and other Guardian stuff if you have a chance. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Time to watch house.